This podcast is a part of the Royal Wee Network. Spit on me. This episode is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash royalweecast. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. To download your free audiobook today, go to audibletrial.com slash royalweecast. We got this whole we got this list pulled up uh-huh. now. There, are, I know what most of them are. I don't. In fact, I know what all of them are except for one. I don't know what Terrors of the Internet is. <laughs> I don't know what we were talking about. I have no idea. I can guess. I can imagine mm-hmm. what Terrors of the Internet is. Mm-hmm. I mean, because there are some. Ter- you know what Tub Girl is? Tub Girl. No, but it sounds like it sounds gross. Hey, Google. Google Tub Girl. Tub Girl. Tub Girl. It might even just be TubGirl.com. <laughs> might even just be TubGirl.com. All right. <laughs> so this is gonna be live on live on the, your screen just got way brighter. All right, so people gonna listen to you see Tub Girl for the first time because there's a lot of people at home going right now like, no, Nathan, it's a trap, Nathan. <laughs> well, I knew I figured it's a trap. I mean, it's a terror from the internet. I'm not seeing it. What did you do? You just Google Tub Girl. Yeah. Just go to tubgirl.com. Oh Jesus, dude! I just read the fucking wiki. <laughs> what? There's a Tub Girl wiki. <laughs> <laughs> what does it tell you? Read it to us. Read it to us online. It says, a famous internet photo of a fat Asian in a bathtub gushing orange diarrhea onto her face and into her open mouth. It can be found with a quick Google image search, but I guarantee you it will kill your boner. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like Wikipedia. <laughs> it's, urban, it's an urban urban dictionary. <laughs> I've never I've never looked at it long enough to determine that the woman was Asian. Oh, geez. Or that her mouth was open. Okay, I see it. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see it now. Oh, that's terrible. She's doing it into her own mouth. God, man. Yeah, the the, inter- the world's fucked up. That's a terror from uh, the internet, man. Uh, yeah, I know. I'll, I'll never forget. Years ago, during the dawn of the internet, there was a site. If it may still be around, I don't even know. But it was called. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I remember. I'll pull up a chair. I remember <laughs> years ago during the dawn of the internet. It's true. Back whenever websites were just all text and there's no video. Back whenever. But back. It's true. But back whenever, like. It just started. Like yeah. there was a <laughs> there was a video site and it was called bangedup.com. And it may still exist, I don't know. But it was um it was mainly there was a lot of weird shit on there. If it was mainly like porn related stuff, but there was also videos like people like killing themselves and like just crazy fucked up stuff. And I'll never forget there was this <laughs> you clicked on this one video and there's these two two uh Japanese girls sitting in a bathtub and it was filled with vomit. And vomiting on each other, and then one of them reaches into the vomit and goes, Mmm, swimp! And oh, <laughs> yeah, it eats a no. shrimp. She found, and yeah, that was the, the reaction. The whole world of us were watching it. We're like, Ah! And like, I've never forgotten that. I've no. never got, dude, it's been years and years and years ago, and I've never gotten that out of my head. I was like 18, and I remember seeing that and was like, Nope. And all, no one needs to no. see that. And all my friend would have to do forever, he would just look at me and go, Mmm, swimp! <laughs> Like oh, oh Jesus. God, oh God! <laughs> what? Uh, uh, I mean, do you know that it was vomit? I guess you just are guessing. Yeah, well, I mean, they were gagging each other and vomiting into the bathtub. I mean, there may have some, oh they were used. To, yeah, <laughs> I mean, there may have been some water in there. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't all vomit, but I mean, it was just it was gross. What I always imagine. I always think this like even in more innocuous things is like imagine the circumstances that led up to those girls doing that, like their lives. You know, yeah, like yeah. Like I had to approach them on the street. Like they couldn't have thought that's what they're going to do with their lives. We're going to eat shrimp out no. of each other's vomit. I mean, that, I mean that has no. to just happen. You know, I mean, you look back on that and think, what in the hell? Like that was a dark time. Well, maybe it was like a quest <laughs> to make like <laughs> that was a dark. <laughs> yep, that was a dark time. Mm-hmm. I was gonna. I wanted to try to do an act out there and like try to pretend like we were those girls, but I couldn't think of a single Japanese girl name. Akiko. <laughs> okay, okay, let's act it out. You ready? Okay, uh huh. You're Akiko and I'm a Yumi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, Yumi. This is going to be racist. <laughs> <laughs> before we, should we pull the plug before we even start? <laughs> <When there's> a- <laughs> All I was going to do is say, hi, Yumi, or whatever it was. And then- <laughs> I already was like, no, nope, I'm going to pull a racist accent. 
<laughs> hey, Paulson's in the chat. Hey. But anyway, so yeah, okay, so <laughs> Kumi and then, uh, oh, uh, what? But you know, like, you know those guys, Rhett and Link? Yeah. Like, they've known each other since they were, like, in kindergarten or some shit, right? Right, right. Just imagine that Akumi and, and, and Akito, whatever their names were, that they, they, they've known each other since they were little girls, right? Uh huh. And then, like, one day, they just found themselves, I guess maybe drugs. No, you don't, you don't, yeah, drugs. It has to be drugs. You don't just find yourself in a bathtub full of your buddies' vomit. Now, now, maybe it's like some uh, situation like us, you know, like they're just two girls who think it would be funny. Mm hmm. Like, look at this absurd video we made. <laughs> Can you imagine being friends with them and then, in just all honesty, just be like, look at this, how funny. You're like, Jesus. That's a, <laughs> well, it's not, I mean, it's not that much different than you were trying to convince me we should get in shape as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that much of a difference, you crazy bastard. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't understand why it was a joke, and I'm like, it would be really fun. <laughs> You're like, no, listen, listen, we'll get like super swole, and it'll be hilarious. <laughs> it wouldn't, it? especially if we did it wrong, and we like told, we, like, what do you mean if we did it wrong, like we get, we hurt ourselves. <laughs> no, like we, uh, we just do it, but we give out terrible advice. Like get everything we tell is wrong, and it would just piss off. Like people would think it was funny, but there would be people out there who like take that really seriously. Who would be like, these fuck these guys. Like they're not taking they're not we tell them things. They're not taking bodybuilding seriously. <laughs> and I think that would make me I think that would make serious bodybuilders mad. If there were two I, dickheads oh, yeah. out there. You know what I mean? Who were just being, we get real swole, so like we're clearly doing it right, but we're just saying we're doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every day. Every day you gotta cut up a little piece of a kitchen sponge. <laughs> you know? You gotta cut it up, you gotta eat it. You gotta eat that with your protein. The sponge, what it does is it helps your body. We're on we're on an all pancake diet. We only eat all pancakes. We, I mean, we eat close to 200 pancakes a day. <laughs> but the thing is the syrup. That's what's bad for you. You don't, you don't realize that. You think the yeah. pancakes are bad too, but it's just the syrup. Yeah, as long as you don't eat, as long as you don't eat the syrup. Syrup? Well, well, no. That's also, that's also a, that's misguided. If you can have the syrup as long as it doesn't touch the pancake. It makes harmful yeah. chemicals when it touches. <laughs> so what we do, what we do is we chew up the pancake, we swallow it, and then we take a sip of syrup. Yeah, out of a glass. Just. Just a sip of syrup. Glass of syrup. Yep. A sip of syrup. A sip of syrup. Sip of, sip of syrup. It's a, it's a simple sip as a sip of syrup. <laughs> oh, you'd be so unhealthy if you ate 100 pancakes and glasses of syrup a day. I don't care. <laughs> oh. I've always imagined, I remember I used to have this workout idea. You know, I can lucid dream pretty often where you like control mm -hmm. your dreams. Uh -huh. So what I did is I would go to sleep and I would start working out. In my dreams, I'd like work out in my dreams. Uh -huh. And I thought maybe, you know, mind over body, man. If I woke up and I got like any sort of progress, I would immediately start writing a book about it. Mm -hmm. I feel like dream, I could sell that shit to Oprah. Dream your way to fitness. Yeah. Literally the body of your dreams. That's that would be the name of the book. Body of your dreams. How to sleep your way to health, happiness, and love. I think that would also be fun is if we got really in shape and we just started telling people things like that. Like someone goes, wow, you, you, wow, you really looking good. Like, what are you doing? Like, I'm just sleeping. I'm, I've been dreaming. If, if you will, I'm dreaming that I hit the gym. Yeah, just dreaming. Well, there is, there's an actual fact. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> there, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's a fact out there that, the, and the fact is that if you think, thinking about exercising actually increases your metabolism. Probably not enough to actually get you in shape, but thinking about strenuous activities and exercise and stuff actually increases your metabolism so well i heard about a thing where like you know like housemaids or women who like go to people's houses and they clean mm -hmm. well that's not a very good i mean it's not a very easy job it's you know it's pretty physically demanding i hear that well, they, all those women are over. <laughs> I hear they, they lay, lay eggs they lay eggs in people's houses <laughs> they go <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry go ahead <laughs> <laughs> what? Housekeeper egg. So this, okay, okay. And if you find it next week, she'll clean for free. So this, <laughs> so, but you gotta give her egg back. <laughs> yeah, and we get that. Yeah. All right. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> They're house cleaners, and that's a phys physically demanding job. You know, you're on your feet, you're getting down to crawl small spaces, you're laying eggs. So when you go ahead and though a lot of those women, a lot of those house. Those, those maids or whatever, they're, they're overweight. You know, mm -hmm. they're not really in shape. 
It's true. So they did a re- they did a they did a study where they just told the women that while they do it to think of it like I'm not doing work, I'm just exercising. Like don't think of it like I'm at work trying to get money. I'm I'm just doing exercise. And they noticed that the women they did a, a research. I don't I didn't this is I heard a guy say this shit. I didn't actually do any research myself <laughs> to whether this is true. <laughs> but they found out apparently that these women just by thinking what they were doing was exercise, it they lost weight. They got more in shape. Huh. Because instead of thinking of it as like, oh, this is just work, I have to do this. Think of right. it as exercise, man. So, mm. so it's just your mental state, like what you think. I guess there's, yeah. So I wonder what would happen if we just thought working out was super funny. Yeah. <laughs> we just been like gut laughing the whole time. This is hilarious. I just like the idea of telling people, like people, when you know, because if you get in good enough shape, people will ask you about, right? Like, what are you doing? How, like, what happened? Yeah, like what are you? And or like, why did you decide to get in such good shape? You know, like I. So you just. The, it just happened, man. I had no control over it. Like I used to be really fat, and then it just got. I started having these dreams, where I was like climbing mountains and cycling, swim kayaking. Never done any of that stuff in real life, and then I woke I don't up. Know how to ride a bike? I can't even ride a bike. Never learned. All you have to do is learn <laughs> once. They say. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't find the time. I was too busy working out my dreams, mm-hmm. eating hundreds of pancakes. And I woke up and I just. I had this beautiful body. <laughs> pancakes. Now, at first, I tried to fight it. I tried to fight it. Yeah. How would you I fight? Was what you- as much as I could. I was, you know, eating as much as I could, trying to be uh-huh. as much of a sloth. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to be this beautiful. I thought people would change. Have you ever seen a? Have you ever seen a sloth skeleton? Everybody should look that up. It looks crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you think they look crazy on the outside, man? What's running that show is even weirder. <laughs> <laughs> they're all, they're strange, man. Imagine you say that. Imagine that someone says, "How'd you get in such good shape?" Like, I, you know, I, I saw this video. I, I looked up what a saw skeleton looked like. Changed my life. <laughs> I was what, like, that's, "Wait, what?" Yeah, I looked it up and thought, "That's what we look like on the inside." I gotta do something. <laughs> uh, isn't that weird? That that's what we all look or, like. Inside? Or maybe, or maybe that you say something like, "Oh, I, you know, I'm afraid that when I'm a, if I'm a big fat ghost." People won't be very scared by me, so I wanted to get like real swole and scary. So like, yeah, ghost. Nobody's afraid of a fat ghost. Are there are there fat ghosts? I guess they're skinny ghosts. Isn't the ghost just like a representation of what you were before? Yeah, I guess Slimer's a fat ghost. Yeah, what the fuck was Slimer before? I mean, if he was a human, he had to be like a, a fucking shell of a man. <laughs> I mean, really, if because he doesn't talk and he just flies around sliming people and eating. Eating buffets and stuff. Like, what was my he? immediate reaction? My immediate thought, and it's terrible, is that it was just someone who was mentally handicapped oh. and came back as Slimer. <laughs> oh. oh man, he doesn't know. He's loving it. <laughs> God bless him. <it. laughs> He's trying his best. He's trying his best to be a ghost. <laughs> yeah, but if you, but if you think about that, like if you're I mean, maybe that's what hell and heaven and stuff like and the different religious places like are. <laughs> is it's, if you're like, uh, it's just your, <laughs> it's just your mental state. Don't ask me why I'm trying to accomplish on. anything on this podcast. If you go, <laughs> if you go, <laughs> we're really gonna get down to it. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're okay. Say like it's just the uh, your your mental state or something somehow carries on. So if you're in a sh- <laughs> if you're in a crazy, you know what I mean, crazy mental state, and you go and you just kind of exist that way. You kind of carry on after your body's dead, that, that weird mental energy or something. So if you're in some, okay. if you're like in a really dark, crazy place, and maybe you, Wait, I don't know. Demon? Yeah, or something. I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> or if you have, <laughs> but I mean, if you think, because like there were other ghosts in there that so, came back and they're just like what they were. I'm, I'm, and there's that one woman who sucked Dan Aykroyd's dick. Yeah. So, I mean, so what, what was that? It was her. <laughs> so, yeah, so I mean, See, that's what I'm saying. It's the fact that you suck so much dick in life that when you die, your ghost just keeps on going like normal. It's just like just what another day, another dollar, just sucking dick as a ghost. I re I rewatched that recently, actually, and that that scene is kind of like out of line of the rest of the movie. Like, it is <laughs> like a little movie, you know, kind of funny, like a little bit, you know, adult yeah. humor, and then Dan Negro gets his dick sucked by a ghost. <laughs> yeah, what would you call that? What would you call like I don't know man on ghost? What what do you mean man? God, that's what we should do, dude. Is start a porn site. Ghost porn. Ghost porn, and it's just people, naked people by themselves, 
pretending they're with somebody else that you can't see. And like just like like hunk in the yeah, air, hunk in the air, and be like, "It's yeah, we didn't think the hystericals. You know, you can see ghosts, but they never show up on film." <laughs> so, it's just, oh, dude, we do like ten videos. We made a whole website. And we're like, oh, like okay, we, we stopped making this. There's only ten videos up. Um, we stopped doing it because we weren't thinking. We we forgot that ghosts. Dude, that would be funny as hell. All we need to do is find some people that are willing to just be naked and weird and act like they're fucking the air for a minute. What's great though? What's great is you know if we sold it like we sold deadpan if we really did, there would be people out there like, did you see this website? <laughs> yeah. These people are fucking ghosts. <laughs> that'd be great. Yeah, we should try. And, I mean, that'd be worth. That'd be worth. I mean, a month of our time. <laughs> Where are we gonna get people to have sex with ghosts though? Where are we gonna get people to act like they're fucking? Dude, people or do people are in bathtubs eating shrimp out of them and stuff. But you can pay somebody some money to just be naked strippers pump the air. Yeah. Well, how is it? I mean, you gotta have someone who has like complete control over their, like, uh, you know, there are people who can make themselves come with no physical contact. Yeah, that's interesting. Just like they're mental, like they just, I don't know. I guess they think real sexy thoughts. I, I don't know what they do. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to know what those thoughts are, but so I mean, the thing is, like, it would make. I think that would really sell the idea that he's actually fucking something if he was like, you know, just humping and just tame. <laughs> like, look. And then, you know, you can use that as evidence. Like, look, look, something, something, something made, made him, him come. Something made him do it. Yeah, yeah. that's not a he ghost. Low dick so cold. My, you going, oh my dick so you my dick so cold, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna haunt that ass. You know, we say that this would be funny to do, but imagine. <laughs> <laughs> We get people over at our house and we start setting up cameras and we're like, okay, now you you stand there. <laughs> people are like, what have we gotten into? This is the weirdest thing we've done so far. If we did it dead serious, like, we weren't being like, no, this is going to be a joke. We're just like, now I want you to just fuck the air. Like, there's a ghost here. You just go at it. What would be really funny is if there was all these all this foreplay that led up to it. So a guy's talking to something or a woman and there's like, no, there's no response. Ghost Secretary 3. Hey, this is, did you did you file those reports? Hmm, you did, huh? Oh, you, wait, you didn't. You didn't. I don't know. I always fast forward. To oh, well, I got something I'd like to file. <laughs> open up the open up the 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 file cabinet for D. Zip. That started out but so innocently. I was honest to God trying to talk about what happens to your mind after you die, and this is where we end up. Like a minute later, like ghost porn. Yeah, but I mean, what I'm saying though, because I guess if. Like you said, there was the one that sucked those. I mean, they're on the right page, I guess. But I don't know, are they? I mean, if you're stuck in some sort of forever loop of going around sucking dick, I mean, you couldn't have been in a good place. Maybe. I mean, I, mean, I guess you can, people even love sucking dick. People like sucking dick. Yeah but, yeah, but enough to do it for the rest of your life and into the eternity. Into You'll be doing it forever. Your ghost. Yeah, but think of how many dicks there are right there, man. There's always new dicks. It's true. Dicks ain't going nowhere. Might as well be a ghost. Around. Huh. I mean, as a ghost, you're like, it's more... Acceptable for you to like sample dicks. Is no it? one's ever been like, look at that slutty ghost. No one gives a shit. That's true. But how do you get to be Slimer? Is what I'm trying to say. Some of the some of because <laughs> <laughs> some of those ghosts were like people, and then some of them were monsters. They had like snakes. Yeah, them that's and true. Stuff. Yeah. So I mean, can you control? Is that like Beetlejuice, where you can control? Yeah. So what ghost logic are we looking here? If, if it could be Beetlejuice world. And that it could be the same ghost logic that applies, and they just all came through into in Ghostbusters timeline. Yeah. But they can still be they can still follow go, uh, Beetlejuice ghost rules. That's why they're all different shapes and sizes and different creatures. But maybe 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 it's it's like a a, a Greek mythology thing where there's only ever one <coughs> one of these type of monsters. Ooh, yeah, okay. You know, and then when it's dead, it's dead. There's, you know, like like the 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 like Gorgons and Medusa and shit. There's only uh-huh. like three of them. And Hercules showed up, was like, "Fuck y'all!" Or there, Theseus. <laughs> yeah, like, never again. Yeah. So then there's yeah. like some ghost snake bitches out there, and yeah. And- well, in 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 Beetlejuice though, there was, I mean, there was a lot of the ghosts were just the way they were when they died. You know what I mean? Like there was a guy that was run over, so he'd like tire tracks on him. But then it seemed like the way to go was like that. You know, the two main characters, they, you know, spoiler alert for a 30 year old movie. <laughs> Beetlejuice. <laughs> the Beetlejuice spoilers ahead. You know, well, they died because they, <laughs> well, they, they drowned, right? In a car. So oh, they just look, Lickens. yeah, they just look, they, they look normal, but they can yep. make themselves look scary or they can manipulate their body, their ghost bodies to look, yeah, to look all crazy and scary. But if you just died by getting run over, 
<clears throat> See, I don't understand. Why do they? Why do they get to like manipulate and become scary or normal? But if you get run over, you, you're forever walking around with tire tracks on you. Because the car like compresses your shit. But can he? Can that? Pack can that person change into something else though? Can they make themselves scarier? They just still got a car track. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Some things aren't meant to be known. I imagine how crazy that would be though. Like if we die and you just come back as a ghost, just like immediately. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, ah shit. Ah, fuck, I, just, I saw it. I saw that hole. I don't know why I fell in it. Fuck. You know, and then you're there. <laughs> <laughs> but but you imagine, what's really funny is, think about that. Like, you have infinite possibility. You're a ghost. You can fly around. You can spook whatever, right? Yeah. I think it's really tough. This really, I think, you know what? I think ghosts real, and here's why. She can spook. Think about all the people out there who are dead. Yeah. Right? Who's ever died. Right. And then think about, like, how many people are walking <laughs> around on Earth are just kind of, like, jackasses, just in the, like, dickheads. Uh-huh. There's a lot of them. Those, when those people become ghosts, they fuck with people. Uh, true. But there's not a lot. I mean, it's not a ton. But they're the dickheads. They come across a whole lot of dickheads. They're like the dickheads of the ghost community. Most most ghosts go and like fuck off. They go to like planets, other planets, and they fly around and have ghost parties and shit. But these ghosts are like, nah, you know what? I'm going to scare the shit out of some people. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to stay here in this house and we'll dress like a colonial soldier, which I wasn't. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I died last week. <laughs> yeah, he died last week and he's come back spooking people as a colonial soldier. <laughs> yeah, or an old an Indian or something. You know, like. You're clearly you're you have blonde hair. Like you're not an Indian. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I saw I don't know why they did this. I wish I could remember. I, I didn't really read the article. I you know you know how I am. Mm-hmm. But scientists put stilts on ants. What? They put like things to make their legs longer. Dude, I'm telling you, the more we talk about shit, the more I just should have been a scientist. But well, it just sounds like scientists dick around. Start. I just, I mean, it sounds like they do a lot of dicking around. I mean, they, they don't get me wrong. <laughs> they do a lot of good, but it just seems like, I mean, what are they, they just their idea of casual Friday in the scientist world? Like they just, hey, let's put some uh, stilts on ants and quote unquote study them, see what happens. Well, dude, what a fucking well, ant on stilts? It's just like a, it's a granddaddy long legs. Just look yeah, at that. Much. Why put stilts on an ant? Just look at another bug that has long legs. <laughs> Let me explain. Hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just do it to like <laughs> fuck with it. Like, How? Look, he thinks he's big. doing that? What look, a dr- look! He thinks he's people. I mean, talk about a fucking terrible. I mean, have you ever tried to thread a needle? Yeah. Like, I imagine that's what it would be like trying to put stilts on a goddamn ant. Like, what in the fuck? That'd be like I a imagine, feet. I mean, it must have maybe got it real cold, so it was slow. The ants loving it. Being an ant. Okay, you go ahead. What they, they did? Doing? The reason they did it. The reason they did it though is they they had a hunch that ants would like. God, the number man. of steps. A hunch. Like they, <laughs> they scientists would like go find have food. <laughs> they would find food somewhere, and uh-huh. they'd be like, "Oh shit, okay." And then they would count their steps back to the base, like, "Okay, there's twenty steps this way, then another thousand steps." Okay, that was fair. So then they put the well. Listen, listen. So they put the they maybe I didn't read the article. In fact, there wasn't even an article. It was a picture of an article. So I mean, who knows what Photoshop happened? <laughs> but God. Uh huh. So they 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 put these red stilts on this black game, which looked really funny, and he's. When they, they went, he, he went and got some food. When he came back, they caught him, put stilts on him. And when he went to go get the food, he like way overshot it because he couldn't make bigger steps. Huh. That's interesting. But still, it just sounds like scientists are fucking with stuff. They're just fucking around. But what's <laughs> odd is like I don't know that I would be like, well, they're counting, so let's make them taller. Like that seems like a strange jump. I guess that's why we're not scientists. They found it to be perfectly logical. And they're like, we'll just <laughs> – he'll take bigger steps if he's taller. We'll cover more ground if he's taller. So – but what's this accomplish? Yeah. What did that accomplish? Other than they they, learn, yeah, I, they just learned something about an ant. How does that affect our day to day lives? They know ants can count, I guess. Jesus. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I can die. I can become a ghost now. I can become a dick sucking ghost, knowing that ants can count. <laughs> what the hell? Listen, man. It's important to know. It's important to know what the like the abilities of other animals are. Like we're. Dude, That's it's true. us versus nature, and yeah. we have to win. You got to know your enemy. I think we're winning. Segway eating into all the fish in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to pull for a different segue, but oh. we'll go. We'll take that one. I don't know what, what there is to talk about. But that's true, dude. That's fucking nuts. Well, you you laid this information on me. What do you got? What? Well, uh, that's it. We've we just, haven't eaten all the fish. Just no, but we've halved them. 
we've halved the amount of fish in the ocean in the past like 50 years. Halved. The, the, the ocean is 70% of the planet, and we've eaten half of it. <laughs> it so, how quickly do you think if we just stopped, like if we just didn't eat any fish for a year, you think well, how big how big would the numbers jump, you think? I imagine they would jump up pretty quick, but I guess the thing is getting people to to slow up. But, I mean, seafood's delicious. I mean, everything that comes out of the ocean that I've tried is fucking awesome. I mean, it, they try, I mean, the, giving it to it, nature tried as hard as it could because most of the stuff that comes out of the ocean looks fucking crazy. It looks like stuff you should never eat. Like, we've talked about that before. Like, the first person to eat a lobster or a crab or something, like, there's no way in hell they ate that out of being like, mmm, that looks good. You know what I mean? They've looked at that and we're like, eat this goddamn spider. Yeah, okay, I'm going to die and I got to eat that goddamn spider. But it's because, I mean, that's true. But then once they ate it, they're like, fuck, like no one's going to believe me. These are good. Like <laughs> these aren't, the, these are so good. You know, so, I mean, yeah. So, I mean, they tried. I mean, a squid, it looks like a, an eyeball and a bunch of shoelaces. Delicious. Yeah, but I mean, that's only, but like when you compare it against a cow or something, a cow looks kind of funky. Yeah, I think it's because we just, we, we look at a cow all the time, you know? <laughs> I mean, we're you used get a to cow all the time. Well, I mean, you're used to seeing a cow. Like they put cow. I'm not. I'm not. I think I've seen more fish than I've seen cows. But they put f- pictures of cows and stuff on everything, like milk and everything's got a picture of the animal on it. You don't see something laying around with a fucking squid drawn on it. You eat half of them though. Half of every fish we've, we've eaten. I don't know, probably more some fish than others. I'm sure there's like other fish that aren't as tasty, like bait fish. I like the idea. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny that like there's a, a fish beef. that they just call. It. Yeah. Now, some of those look crazy. Where are those taste? The ones that are just all teeth and like a glowing eyeball. You know what I mean? The idea, just the idea of human conquest of like, what would that one taste like? Mm-hmm. Let's kill it and eat it. Top of the food chain. People are just eating, you can eat everything. I mean, there's, there's a store not too far from here that has every type of jerky that you can imagine. Like animals, the emu, lizards and stuff. I can't imagine. I mean, how, but I mean, I imagine bro- most birds are pretty similar. Probably. But it's just the fact that people are eating. There's no reason. There's enough chickens and cows. We don't need to be eating a lot of that stuff. We just do it because we can. You know what I mean? Probably the same yeah, thing. We don't want to eat a parrot. A parrot? <laughs> It'd be funny if it just tasted like other things. Like, oh, this parrot tastes like fish this one tastes like a bowling pin like it's just whatever it's dog because he can mimic yeah it's, it's taste i don't know why bowling pin <laughs> just the idea just the idea why why do you know what that is like <laughs> just the idea of like you know telling people like what did you have for dinner last night parrot parrot yeah chameleon mm-hmm. Anthem. If, a, actually if, uh, tofu was kind of like the chameleon of food you know what i mean you can turn you can i mean they turn it into everything they can flavor it it's just yeah 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 yeah, 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 for sure. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it's like you said, the, the nature is trying to find a way to like combat us. Like, well, we'll make it real gross looking and then they won't eat it. Ah, fuck, they're eating that too. Even the poison ones, like the, the blowfish or whatever. You know what I mean? If you eat the wrong part of that, you're instantly dead. And we still find what a- some things that, what are some things that we don't eat? Uh, we don't eat stuff. We, we don't, we don't eat stuff that reminds us of us. Like we don't eat monkey. oh, monkeys. Yeah, we don't eat a lot of monkeys. Like we don't. Places probably do. We don't eat, uh, rats. We don't eat rats. Once again, places Why? places probably do. I don't know. There's, there's so many. Guinea pigs and stuff. People eat those. Do they still call them guinea pigs? Is that racist now? You don't even know anymore. Racist towards an animal? I guess it's called a guinea pig. I don't know. Oh, is that from Guinea? Like Papa New Guinea? <laughs> I have no idea. Isn't Papa's gu- got a brand new guinea? <laughs> Papa got a brand new guinea. Well, isn't that, that's, a, that's a racial slur too, right? A guinea, isn't it? Google it. We're talking about racial slurs. Do you know how you say? Do you know how you say "buy that" in Chinese? Buy that? How? Yeah, you know how you say like if you wanted to say like you, you get someone's attention and you say "buy that," I mean I want to buy that. Right. You say you say "my nika." My nika. Yep. My nika. My nika. Nice. Buy that. Yep. Chinese. Buy that. My nika. Huh. Chinese word of the day, folks. There you go. Chinese words of the day. Was a compound word. I'm trying to segue into the fact that I have this guy named Rat problem. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just, just, ham, like just a, crowbar into it. Just fucking rat. This, this little goddamn creature has upended my whole life. You know, crawling around up in the ceiling. He's eating all my goddamn snacks. I got some good snacks. He's eating them. <laughs> says, there's got to be traps over there to catch him, right? Well, we call the we call the Rat Man. We call him the Rat Man. But I, did you talk to him or his girlfriend? 
rat man. What do you mean? I don't know. I just like the idea of rat man and his girlfriend coming over to the He's just known as rat man. Okay, call Rat Man. Man. Call Rat Man and his girlfriend. Rat Man. He, well, he's gonna put some traps or something. I guess we're gonna he's gonna catch it eventually. We just keep putting all the food in the fridge. There's no rat food for him to eat. Uh huh. The fucker keeps like crawling up and down some bamboo and shit. Mm hmm. I don't know. Fucking rat. Yeah. But I was thinking about how interesting it would be to be the Rat Man. Yeah. I guess a job. You know. Yeah. To be the rat. I mean, that's not that hard of a job. You wouldn't think. I mean, they are tenacious little creatures. I mean, if I've, I've never had a rat problem, but if I get mice, like every winter when it gets cold, I get like a mouse or two. And like, I've never, like one tried to live in my couch and I would see it, like I would be sitting and I would just see it run across the floor underneath my couch. I'd be like, son of a bitch. Yeah. And it's a whole thing. Like you, I'd set traps and it would outsmart me. It would like take the food off the trap and like it would leave the death, but take all the food. <laughs> but eventually you get them. Well, I feel like I just feel like the job isn't very physically demanding, and if no. the rats don't repulse you, it's got to be like, "Hey, I got another one. Fuck them." Right? It's not that glamorous. Imagine if you hate, if you hate rats. You're just like, yeah, yes. like like rats killed my family, sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, There's rats a place in like somewhere. In, go ahead. No, I mean rat. I mean rats are a big. I mean they're not so much anymore. Rats are a big problem historically. You know, there's a place in Canada somewhere, somewhere like in the middle of Canada. It's the whole district, the whole province is rat free. I mean rat free. Like there's no rat. They, there are no rats. They just look, look. Look, if you type in type in Wikipedia, brown rat. Just Google brown rat, and then click the Wikipedia page, and then when it comes up, scroll down a little bit, and then look, look, look. Right below the picture, there's a picture of the world map, and it's all red where the rats live. Look at Canada. There's a big square where there's no rats. Well, is that because they eliminated them or they just don't live there? They eliminated them. And if they eliminated them. If a rat ever comes in, they like make it a government priority to go and kill it. Huh, that's nuts. Yeah, they're everywhere else. Do you they're, see they're, they're, oh, you already found it? Yeah, yeah, they're literally everywhere except for like Antarctica and Greenland. Well, it's Siberia. Yeah, like Siberia and shit because it's cold as fuck there. <laughs> and Iceland. Yeah. Like there's just a big square in the middle of Canada where they don't have any rats. It's pretty nuts. That's I mean they got every some... every person that <laughs> every person there is it's like government mandated that they have to have rat poison yeah. on the premises at all times. <laughs> it's your your duty. The propaganda sure, stuff. Man. And it, I mean I mean fuck them. I guess he's not really that annoying, but like it's just the, I know they pee everywhere. Yeah, they're dirty. Like and they they pee everywhere they crawl. So they basically just drag their nuts around on everything and pee on everything. I mean, if you had a friend, a human friend that did that, you'd never let him around. <laughs> yeah, but if I had a human friend that acted all the way a lot of animals act, I wouldn't have him around. <laughs> it's, it's true. Come back as a slimer. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, fucking rat man. I just like the idea of just being a rat man, like just trolling around, you know, laying traps, being like, yeah. Out. But he probably does more than rats. Like, what are some other things you can get? Like infestations of ants, probably. Yes, ants, fleas, yeah, cockroaches, I fleas, cockroaches. I bet stuff like that could be a problem. Cockroaches can be nuts, man. It's actually, I read that it's good. That if you see a really big one, that's good. It's eating up all the little. It's not good. It's not good, but it means that like those are like the lone wolf. Uh huh. So if you see one of those, it doesn't mean you have an infest. It just means he's hanging out, you know. Right. When it's the little ones, if you see little ones, there's tons of those. It's the little ones you gotta watch. The little ones will get you. It's the little ones that'll get you. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, what I mean, are bees? I guess you get infestations of bees, bees nest, hornets, and stuff. That'd be what drew the line for me, man. I, I don't fuck with any bees. I mean, imagine if I'm calling you, be like, I got a giant hornet's nest. It's like the size of a basketball. I'd be like, nah, just kill it with fire. Get a torch and kill it. Like, I don't know what. The you tell it on the phone. Like, I'm not yeah. coming. Yeah, you just burn. You need to burn you your house. Pests? I saw this video online the other day. This uh, person's got a. It just shows a close-up of somebody's ear, and they've got like a cloth behind it, and there's these gloved hands, and they're got this little vial, and they're pouring something into this person's ear real slowly. And all of a sudden, this bi- this big fucking spider comes out of the guy's ear. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it said, never sleep again. I was like, yep, the big jumping spider or something. I mean, it filled up his whole ear canal. It just his legs went, whoop, and just crawls out of the guy's ear hole. Or girl's ear. It could have been a girl's ear. A human ear. I want to figure out, like... Just pour some shit in the air and it'll take care of it. Who figured that out? Well, it flushed it out of there. Like, it didn't want to... They were basically pouring water. I don't know what they were putting in it, but it, it you know, it forced it out. But can you imagine... If, like, my, my mom works at a doctor's office, and she's she told about having somebody come in one time that had a fucking cricket in their ear. Can you imagine how... A cricket is annoying 
anywhere it is. Imagine having it in your goddamn head. <laughs> it's like, ah, I mean, it would drive you bananas. Anything living in your ear. Was it making the noise? Was it making the noise? So. I don't think so. But can you still, like, every time they're trying to get out, I mean, there's something in your ear. I mean, how sensitive your ear can be. Imagine if something's in there, crawl, like, scooching around up against your eardrum. That would drive you. You just, I mean, seriously, y'all, you'd show up, oh, screw yeah, and be like, sure. get it out. Something's in there. I feel like that would be a really good excuse if you didn't want to go into work because everyone would believe you. No one's going to think that you lied about there's a cricket in your ear. Yeah, I had a cricket in my ear. I can't show up. Like, who's going to make that up? I got to, yeah, I got to go to the doctor. I got a cricket in my head. <laughs> I hate crickets. Hey, Calling the rat man about that. Yeah, I got crickets in my head, man. What do I do? <laughs> They say, you know, they say you eat so many bugs, like, over the course of your life. I guess it's to have it, like, not, sure. not willing. I mean, you eat some willingly, but, like, you have some, most of the time they crawl in your mouth or you're sleeping. And you eat them. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but, I mean. And you eat them. <laughs> and you eat them. Like, sometimes you like, I ate a moth out of pure anger one time. Just ate it. <laughs> <laughs> not a, oh, yeah, I remember. You told me. It'd be funny if, it wasn't, if I wasn't mad at the moth. If I was mad at somebody else and ate the moth out of anger. You're just trying to show them, like, <laughs> It could have been you. That's your next buddy. Yeah, but, and that's another thing. If you think about like, moths, I've never really understood them. I mean, they they look like they never know where they're going. You know what I mean? Like they're just, they're always just fucking batshit crazy, just flapping about, going around no nowhere. I feel a lot of animals are like that. Yeah, but I mean, at least some I don't know. Like I always purpose. think that. But I've never seen a moth. I used to always think that animals don't make mistakes. They're like if dirt came to life, is what a moth is. What do you mean animals don't make mistakes? No, I guess because whatever they well, do, because they, they don't have a mind. They don't have a. Well, I don't know. I mean, you, sometimes you see videos of like dogs falling or tripping or something, but it seems sort of strange. Like <laughs> people yeah. seem like creatures that would make mistakes, but animals seem sort of. Yeah, well, like I've seen dogs and cats. Like a cat thinks it can jump on something and it misses, and it just splats on the wall for a second. It's like, yeah. yeah, I mean that sort of thing. But they don't have any. Or like a, a bug, like a beetle. I'm like you. Like, does a beetle make a mistake? I mean, if it flies into a fire or something, but I'm sure it didn't mean to. It wasn't like, oh shit. They probably thought that well, was yeah, something yeah, else. Yeah, a mistake. You know? Yeah, I guess it is. A, well, that's true. It's a definition of a mistake, isn't it? But I don't. But they're not aware. Which, but th- see, I take this back because I, me and my friend, uh, buddy John, friend of the show, we had this ongoing conversation though. I always was uh, like, we argued that spiders don't have minds. And like I don't, <laughs> I don't think they have like a proper like a proper mind. But apparently, scientists have discovered just recently that like different like certain spiders have personalities, which is crazy. Not doing what <laughs> once again, they make science, a what they're, they're, put, they're putting exactly what the spider is swi- the spider swiping left with all of his with all of his legs. <laughs> what 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 study could you put together? And this is, I guess, I think our biggest misunderstanding of science is we don't understand how studies are put together. Okay, imagine you and I are sat down mm-hmm. and I just say, okay, Nate and Sam, we need to figure out whether science or whether spy. Let me back up. You need to figure <laughs> out whether spiders have personalities or not. You need to come up with a test to conclude <laughs> right. whether that's the case. It would be hard for me to get over my bias, which is, I guess makes me a stupid person. Because I would, I would immediately be like, no, they don't have fucking personalities or goddamn spider. Like, I'm sure they do. Different- I don't think I could tell. I, I could have come up with a test that would prove whether you have a personality. Exactly. I mean, I have no idea. I don't know if you're real. Really? I mean, we're not in the same room. I mean, <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. I mean, it's yeah. every, every day is a fucking stretch, man. You just got to be- take things on faith. You got to believe that a place called Sydney exists or that there's a fucking, you know what I mean? That the moon is a real thing. Like, otherwise, like, you drive yourself fucking crazy sitting around thinking about if spiders have personalities. Like, you got enough to deal with. I've never seen a crocodile. I've never seen a crocodile. I live in Florida for three goddamn years. Never seen one alligator or crocodile. I don't believe they're real. I've never seen a porcupine in real life. I have no idea if they're really if they really happen. You know what I mean? I, the thing I, is, there's some shit. There's some shit out there that isn't real that people pretend is real, and it's confusing. Exactly, like Mothman or Drop Apes. What are Drop Apes? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck's a Drop Ape? That sounds like, like you, a thing in a that's, sh- that's what you call a burl. Like a, that sounds like a freestanding shit. Like if you were just walking and then shit and fall, <laughs> you call it a Drop Ape. <laughs> no, it's it's like this. Hey, drop Ape. It's like a creature. Horrible. It's like a creature they say lives in Florida or it lives in Australia just to fuck with foreigners, but it's not real. Like a snipe? I don't think it's real. It might be real. A drop ape? Huh. It's called a drop ape. It's like this really aggressive ape that lives in Australia. Pulling off people's faces. That's another thing I don't get too. I mean, knowing that monkeys can go nuts and pull people's arms and faces and shit, dicks and stuff off, 
Why would you ever be friends with a monkey? Who's friends with the monkey? But lots of people are friends with monkeys. And I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? I don't get it. Like, because all it takes, I mean, like, if every, everybody has a bad day every now and then, so, you know what I mean? Everybody has a fucking day where you're like, God damn it. Of like, course. I'm not, I'm not, I don't feel like putting up with anybody's shit today. Well, if you hang out with a monkey every day, sooner or later, it's going to have a bad day. And it's bad day is the worst day you've ever fucking had, man. Cause it's going to pull your dick off. It's going to pull your you face off. No. So you why hang out with a monkey? Well, I mean, I feel that way about like just strong people. Yeah, but they're not going to pull your dick off. Like if, like if we hung out every day for years, every now and then we're going to have a day where we'll be like, dude, just, uh, you know what I mean? I'm not feeling it today. Never either one of us going to pull each other's faces off. People do it. I mean, you're no, people do it, but they're usually on PC. Cut some dude's dick. Yeah, but they're usually on PC oh, yeah. or something. But they're like, oh, they're, they're hugging the monkey and they're giving it like a bottle or something, and then all of a sudden it just and it goes nuts and pulls people's tits off, and it's like, all right. I don't know what we were yeah, talking about. I mean, we were talking about something a minute ago. Whether or not spiders Well, just the idea that scientists – well, scientists are putting together studies to try to determine if – I can't figure out a way. I try to think the whole time how would I make a study. There, there is – a spider has a person. You can look it up. There's a – it's a – they came up with something. Basically, they just spent time with the spiders. And this is me – Ask me a question. <laughs> yeah, but this is where I'm coming in. Just telling like, them stories. Are you sure if you spend enough time with a bug or something, you start – I mean, you know my thing. Like I think people look, look like beetles a lot. Yeah, and I don't, and but if I hang around with a beetle long enough, and it becomes like your friend, I mean, you could start, you could start, you know, placing features and characteristics and stuff on that beetle that don't really exist. It's just because you're alone with a goddamn beetle all day, and you're gonna give it a name. It's like fucking Wilson whenever he was on that island. You know what I mean? He made friends with a ball. It's the same thing if you hang out with spiders all day. You're gonna be like, oh, this is, you know, this is sticky, and he's got, he likes this, and. This is over here. This is this is four eyes. And now I just conclude that volleyballs have personalities. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. I put stilts on it. Well, scientists are always figuring out all kinds of crazy shit. Do you no, know that's what? True. I mean, that's true. I love science and science, but sometimes it just. And I guess that's why I'm not a scientist. But the th- you know cornflakes. Yeah. 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 What? What? what you know what cornflakes? What scientists they designed cornflakes for? Oh, probably probably something crazy like that's what they pack the space shuttle in or something. Dude, it's even crazier. You wouldn't even, in a thousand years, you'd never guess. What's your best, most absurd? What do you think the most, cra- it's the craziest thing I've ever seen? They're not food? Cornflakes. They weren't invented. That's not how they were they designed. Weren't- they weren't invented to be food, no. <laughs> but they're, they're food, but they weren't invented to be food. So they were an edible No, they were, they were, that were, they were, well, they were, they, yeah, they're food now, but they were used for a different purpose. They were designed for a different purpose. Now, you're not going to believe me, but this is 100,000% true. I actually looked this one up. Okay. They were designed to be put on someone's bed while they slept so that you could hear if they started masturbating. You'd hear the crunching. You're out of your mind. Dude, that, that is true. They were – they were de- a scientist decided no, to stop masturbation. Science didn't do that like the fucking Amish or something did. The Mormons came up with that. Well, maybe he's an Amish scientist, but he decided to make – There's still like- Amish scientists? They don't, they, they don't have cars. What are they – why would they be? That's funny. He's an Amish scientist. I majored in the Amish sciences. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God, an Amish scientist. Amish scientist is like the guy on uh, Gilligan's Island who made everything out of coconuts. That's true. That's what he would be. He can make like a ham, make like a ham radio out of a an actual ham. Okay, so they so you put corn flakes <coughs> all over somebody's bed so they don't masturbate. Yeah, because you hear the crunk, 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 crunk. <laughs> Then you come in and they were eating. It's like, well, I can't jerk off. Might as well eat these things. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know how they made then made the jump to like cereal. Well, I don't see how they made the jump into the bed. I mean, that's a mess every day. You're, I mean, who's masturbating so hard that that's that they got to do that? Well, I mean, hold on. corn flakes masturbation. Man, yep, it's crazy. I mean, I believe you, but that's nuts. It was actually by by the man himself, by John Kellogg. What? He has a he has a cereal empire now. You think he tried every he cereal? A, he just started, like Fruit Loop started out being like all oh, their you know Rice Krispies. Well, he had a snap, you snap, crackle and pop, and your way right into hell, son. Wow, this is he. He really didn't like. I guess he was a doctor. He really didn't like sex. He just thought sex was the worst. And apparently, like I what guess, ghost is he? What kind of ghost would he come back as? Would he be a slimer? I don't. I mean, a real sexy. He'd be sucking dicks. <laughs> Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe it's the opposite of your conduct in real life. 
Well, that'd be terrible you then. If, if, like if, maybe if you're like a real prude, you come back as a dick sucking ghost. Right. Oh, and so, so, come, so yeah, Slimer yeah. was like a was like a anorexic or some shit. Or she or it was like I imagine that she was like she she ran like a like one of those uh, uh, proper etiquette schools for women for little girls to teach them like what side their salad fork goes on and all that stuff, and then she comes back as Slimer. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess he also invented granola, but he also, I guess his son was plagued by masturbation, so he like plagued by. He invented these. To, I don't know. I, I, there's a whole argument here, but it's a thing. Look up and see what his son did, because if I'm sure he wasn't plagued by it, he was just probably a normal teenager, and his dad, who hated sex, was just being. You know what I mean? You've got to be some level right. of, of obsessed to invent a, a food stuff to keep your kid from jerking off. You know? Oh, weird. Very strange. It's not even. He actually didn't even believe. Okay, I, maybe I'm confused. I think he just thought eating them would make you want to have to jerk off less. What? I don't think he crinkled them on the bed. <laughs> he just eating them. He introduced cornflakes in hopes that it would reduce masturbation. And what's his what's his what's his science behind this? Like, what's his theory? Like, why? Like, how? That sounds. It sounds like a selling point. It sounds like he invented a cereal. And he's like, how can I get this out there? Oh, parents hate their kids masturbating, right? Eat the cereal. Oh, you know, Butterfinger has cornflakes in it. I can see that. Like compressed cornflakes. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Yeah, it also, I also did, explains why I have such a hard time jerking off while I'm eating a Butterfinger. <laughs> Butterfinger fills every free cavity of your mouth with like layers, <laughs> layers of sediment. <laughs> I've not had a Butterfinger in a long time. You're too busy picking it out of your teeth to be jerking the, the, the squeebs. <laughs> jerking the squeebs. <laughs> Drop apen. <laughs> We're papping the papiche. <laughs> Uh, You're too busy to scrub the squab, you know? Do you know, man? Tell me you do know. Uh, I was eating jelly beans. <laughs> On the back of the jelly beans, it said, when at all possible, we use natural ingredients. Oh, that's right. So when I say fucking anything, if that's the case. In your mouth. Yeah. What, when, when at all possible. When at all possible, we, we try to use things that aren't poison. We wanted this shit to taste exactly like a cherry, but we couldn't. I mean, we couldn't figure it out. Figure it out, so we, we 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 added chemicals. Turns out old batteries kind of fool your tongue into tasting like cherries, so we put those in there. I had a mosquito one time taste like cherries, so we put some mosquitoes in there. That's natural. <laughs> that was possible. <laughs> yeah, like, what? is it is it jelly beans or? That's one of those things like I could take or leave for jelly beans. Usually, uh, some of them. I mean, they've got interesting flavors sometimes, but then that's one of those things too. They just invent. You know, which that's a job. That's a job that I used to think that would be pretty, pretty fun in a way. Yeah, like like sitting around tasting chemical tastes invented by us. You know, be like this is supposed to taste like you know chicken or meat or something, and you try it. Or this is like the like the popcorn one. Their taste game is pretty on point over there. For like there was the cheeseburger potato chips. Remember those? Yeah. And the very first one, which tasted very strange. Well, the very first chip tasted exactly like a fucking cheeseburger. It was like, damn. That does. It tastes like a cheese. So it's just like relish. It's just like onion and relish. Yeah, but once you eat like three or four of them, it just built up in your mouth and it just tastes like ketchup and ketchup and onions or something. The very first one yeah. was like nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. I uh, I think it would be. I, I just don't know. I don't know why they bothered to say anything on the back of that. Like when at all possible, right? That's basically like saying nothing. Yeah, like you're saying when at all possible. You know, we use natural ingredients, but that could be one percent of the time. That's that could be. I mean, literally, that could be the only possible time. They're like, when at all possible, we use natural ingredients, but it's usually never possible. But when, <laughs> but when at all possible, we, we, it's usually just not possible, guys. I mean, look at the fucking back of the bag. Why are we having this conversation? Read the back of the bag. These are beans, neon beans that taste like things. Like how the fuck? They're neon beans. That what do you think we just ground up some butter popcorn and put it in a bean? What do you think? No. Open your be a fucking adult. Yeah. We're scientists. We use I chemicals. Mean, yeah. We use science. In a front to the good Lord himself. Yeah. This isn't just pear. This is juicy pear. Okay? How do you get the juice in there? Chemicals, 99% of the time, not natural. <laughs> but when it, when possible. Can we get some fucking science beans? We use water for some of shit. Yeah. There, there Water's it is. good. Yep. Water in it. A little bit of sea salt. For the sea salt jelly bean. Some cracked red pepper. 
for the cracked red pepper bean. Be funny if they got that specific. There were so many flavors. It was like, just make one taste like pepper, man. Crack. I like the idea of the bur- <laughs> Himalayan <laughs> sea salt jelly bean. Mm. Hey, man, t- make one taste like a Sony TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can do it. Bullshit, you can't. Fuck you, I can. Wait, see. Hold on. Give me some of those chemicals. Make <laughs> make one taste like a spider's personality. <laughs> I would eat, I would buy those bags. Imagine if it was a bag of you know how Yankee candles are pretty uh they're they're kind of a stretch sometimes like this this one is uh M- moon dust. You know, I saw one that said something yeah exactly like, they were like dust. have no frame bag. Of yeah right I would eat jelly beans that were like that like uh this is a this is a butterfly's thoughts it would just probably taste like the inside of a Victoria's Secret store smells you know this is the this jelly bean is <laughs> this uh jelly bean is uh is a uh, New Fork. New Fork. <laughs> Virginia? an old man. <laughs> no, wait, new- I immediately just started thinking about sexy jelly beans. They could, I mean, they could probably... There's that, that cologne or whatever, that smell that makes your hands smell like pussy. Imagine if you just had a jelly bean that tastes like pussy. Dude, I, there was a... I used to... There was a... I, I, tried, I had a bubble gum one time that tasted like that. But completely unintentional. And I had a vague... <laughs> it had a vague... T- t- I'm like... Eh, and I was like giving to people, I was like, what's that taste like? <laughs> <laughs> And it, like, tastes, like, like, it tastes weird. I was like, and then you tell them, and they'll be like, "Oh, sh- what?" Yeah, I had like, like an, I love the idea. You give it to people, and you dance away. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was. A, it had like an odd, just an, an odd. Uh, Did anyone agree with you? Ink, yeah, and like an odd inkling of the vagina. I mean, it wasn't bad. It was just you know you don't expect it in a gum. <laughs> what would cause that? <laughs> I don't know. Well, no. they weren't using natural flavors. I don't think. Mm-mm. It wasn't possible. It wasn't what, possible. What was that, that all that stuff was called vulva. We should check back in on that website and see how they're doing, see if they're still around. They probably introduced new smells. Because there was one. Remember, should check back in. Because I remember the last time we were on there, they was like they had their classic, you know, vagina smell. Then they had there was another one that was in the works that was like sporty or something. And it was like you know, like if a girl has been working out for a couple hours, is what this one smells like. Okay. And it's like what? Right, 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 right. Yeah. Uh, well, we're about to run out of time. All right. <laughs> So goodbye. Welcome. Thank you, Phil Paulson and Ryan, for listening. Yeah. Eat this gum. Does it taste like pussy? <laughs>